I'm going to show you how to build a list to target absentee owners. A lot of people ask, what is an absentee owner? Well, basically it's an investor. If I own several properties, but I don't live in them, I actually rent them out to tenants, whether it be residential or commercial, you're not going to want to target the actual property because you'd be targeting the tenant. You want to target me as that owner. So who you're targeting is actually that tax mailing address. So when we say absentee owner, that's exactly what that means. So any direct mail that you send would come to me as the owner of that property. There's two ways to conduct that search within our system. So first we'll actually go over to this prospecting tab. You can see I'm set here to Salt Lake County, Utah. That's where I'm based out of. You can actually preset this up to four counties if you'd like. Just for the sake of this demo, we're gonna keep it really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and start selecting my zip codes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start selecting some. And it's really nice because as you select them, you'll see them start um, illuminating on the map. When I hit update, you'll see our results will actually start populating over here on the right hand side of my screen. There's a lot of information you can sift through here. School zones, owner type is where you're gonna see this absentee information. So absentee in-state means that tax mailing address is going to someone inside the state of Utah. Absentee out or wherever you're based out of. Absentee out of state would mean that it's going to someone out that lives outside of the state of Utah. So perhaps they're in California or Nevada. So they live there and they own properties in Utah. So you can select one or both depending on what is important to you there. I'm going to go ahead and just select in absentee in state. From here, there's a lot of other different information that you can select like property type, move this over, you can see improvement type. Those are going to be dependent on the county. So you can do commercial or residential here. Um, land use and improvement type, again, those are going to be dependent on the county. So you can do, if you want to target apartment buildings, if you want to target condos, you can do all of that in here, mobile home parks. So basically lots of different options. For the sake of this, we're actually just going to go ahead and just do residential to keep it simple. And then here you can do vacant land only. So this is actually great if you're trying to target someone who has vacant land that you're interested in developing. Um, that's where you would actually indicate yes or no here. Again, lots of other information I'd encourage you to look at. From here, you can actually just create labels. If you're trying to do a mail campaign, you can also export these records. And when you go into edit fields here, this is basically all of the information that's pre-selected that when you do the export, this information will populate. You do have the option here to include contact information. This would be a phone number if we have it and an email if we have it. So when you select contact information, and I'd encourage you to hover over these question marks, this will pull contact information for anyone that we have of this list of about, six, about 1,700. If you only want contact information, then you want to make sure you select phone only contact information. So that'll exclude all the ones that we do not have contact information for. Again, it's going to be targeting that tax mailing address. So the goal is that you're getting the, the phone number or email address of that owner. So like I said, there's one more way that you can do this search, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So you can go into this advanced search and map search here. You can scroll down and you really can fill in. This is just really specific information that you're welcome to fill in. So you can do specific location searches here. You can do certain property value searches here. You can do last sale date. If you're trying to get a new movers file as an example, you can do that within here. Property characteristics. Again, you'll see that property type, improvement type, land use. That's where you're going to see all those apartments, just a lot of different options within here. And if you're trying to target an apartment building, let's say of, you know, 10 to 150, so something a little bit larger, you can do that in here, acreage. And then here is where, you'll, where you will see that absentee owner information. So you'll see again, that absentee in state or out of state. Another really popular thing is actually putting in the current owner name. So if you know of a popular investor and you know their name or perhaps their business name, you can put that in here and do a generic search. And it basically populates the same way as the other, the other prospecting tab does. Thanks for watching.